What's up guys? We are here with another video. Today we are working on this little building right here. You guys may remember this from the first video tutorial. I This is a tree farm and I went into a creative world and for about like 12 hours I'd say. It took me about 12 hours. I designed my own factory design because I wanted to enclose this in a nice factory got all the dimensions should be all good to build in survival i'm not going to show it yet i'm going to just build it throughout the whole video i've been kind of avoiding it i'd say because i i just don't want to do it because i know it's such a big project i don't even have all my materials like look <laughs> you think know, you build a factory like that tall like around about that height which is these materials and like most of it is all glass so if we go right into here oh i have this smelter system which is really not good it's very very slow since only two furnaces at a time we can go over in this direction to our villager area i spent a lot i spent most of the day working on these guys you can see there's a ton of iron golems and a ton of villagers inside of this building because i've been just working on breeding up villagers and getting a ton of professions and it's very loud in here but the good thing is i can come over i can trade like, look at that. perfect i actually need this or i'll trade brick or emeralds go check on our smooth stone that is smelting in our very 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 slow smelter i gotta upgrade it i have a few screenshots up on the side of my computer which you cannot see which is the factory design that i have i took screenshots of it in my creative world so i can just rebuild it in survival the problem is with this design, i might have to move the entire machine over by like two or three blocks because you can see how there's extra there's a little bit extra space right here that's not a big problem if it touches the wall that could touch the wall which is fine this collection system can be moved over a little bit. That's perfectly fine too. The only problem I have is the TNT duper. I don't know if it will explode TNT into the wall or not. And I'm a little nervous about that. So it might have to be moved over by one or two blocks. Hopefully, hopefully I can uh, find a way to move that out without any issues. I think we should be fine with that. So I'm just going to be here building for a while and I'll check back if there's any updates.
my goodness, was that a lot of work? <laughs> I remember saying earlier that I started at 12, at 12, around about. If I look at my clock right now, it is currently 3.20 in the morning. <laughs> I've been working on this for a long time. I, I missed a spot down there. Uh-oh. And let's see it at nighttime like this. This is the front and it looks amazing. Oh, I gotta get rid of that scaffolding. I am so happy with this design. I'm... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. My goodness. I might actually put some lanterns on this. Will that make it a little better? I think that's good. I do have to add like the... And there we go. There's one side done. That's one of them. That looks very nice. There we go. Let's check out how that looks. That looks fantastic. Oh my goodness. I am so happy. The only... I don't know if in the time lapse, I try to put sea lanterns there, but you could put levers behind the, the sea lantern, but it doesn't activate anything. Like when you flick the levers, the trap doors don't go down. And it's really weird. It's probably a bug. I don't know. The other annoying thing is that right here, there was a little bit of redstone that I had to get rid of. The design, so if we come back here, see that it runs into the wall, and I had to remove it. Oh! What the heck? That actually scared me. Where is that down here? Why are you breaking through my door? What is that? Anyways, this so far has gone way better than I thought. Way better. The building was nice and smooth. I just, I literally flew through the entire project. I, I'm curious what everyone thinks about it. I personally thought it was really well. And pff, that was only the first side. We still have to finish this side. This side, the back, and the other side over there. And I am really surprised. This is the part that surprised me the most so far that this is actually still here. The thing is though, we, you can see right down there that this is running through. It's not even a problem at all because we could just replace the glass with the brick or that block that we needed, the gray bull. This was something I've been <laughs> dreading to do for a while. I finally decided to do it because I wanted to get it over with and I'm actually glad I did it. It was so easy. Oh. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to bed now. I'm going to bed. So currently the next day and I haven't, I haven't really built at all on this. I did like minor adjustments. Like if you look at the front entrance, it now has smooth stone on top of the doors. But besides that, that's really it. I mean... I've really done nothing at all. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I have, however, been working at the villager area a lot. If we come check it out, there is a lot going on. So, oh my goodness, there's so many villagers here. I have been just trading away, getting tons and tons of emeralds for brick to invest in the factory. I currently don't have many resources at all to trade. I, I've been, I've literally been trading sticks with, where are they? These guys up here. And, oh, see they're out of trade. I can't do it anymore. I have to wait. Yeah, I, I went resource gathering for a while. I have a lot of extra resources down in these chests. I actually took out the storage for the wood and I moved it there temporarily so I can work on the inside. I wanted to actually fill the ground inside the factory with some smooth stone and yeah i'm gonna fill this in see how it looks at the end i covered the entire area of this i'm probably gonna have to extend this out a little bit more because i know that there's like a little column over there i might have to do that over there i'm not totally sure i chose smooth stone because it looks a lot better i was gonna go with something like stone brick but i wasn't totally sure i think it would look better because you know, we already have the base right here, which is smooth stone, so I thought it would just look better inside. I'm gonna be honest, I really have to sort something out. <laughs> With these sheep, I need a lot of wool for this project, like a lot. And this is just not gonna cut it because 
there's not enough grass growing. Look, there's only two patches of grass. This is ridiculous. I definitely need. <gasps> Wait! I'm so stupid. Another easy alternative for me to get some. Whoa. Free white wool. Alright, let's see. String. There is a lot of string. Perfect. Okay. Craft up stacks upon stacks upon stacks upon stacks. Now we just have to do getting the gray concrete. I mean, <laughs> concrete. <laughs> getting the gray wool. That will require black ink, black dye actually, and white dye, which is going to be a pain to get because everyone knows that we need squid for the black dye. All right, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I was going to uh, collect some black ink on the video, but I decided to not do that. I'll do that off camera because it's just going to take a while because squids are a pain, but I am going to do some future builds. I have a lot of projects that I have lined up. I'm going to finish this build in the next video probably. Well, not even finish it because it's that big. It might take me like three or four episodes to do, but hopefully we can get a lot done on it. I am really excited to finish it, do the whole outcome. I think we made major progress today. This thing is looking absolutely insane and I can't wait to get this video out to you guys. So I'm just going to end it here edit the video, let you guys watch it, and yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment maybe for more, and see you guys in the next video.